When you, when you talk about omega-3 amounts, can we get too much? Yeah. A and have question. you seen any you know, instances where that's happened? And that question comes up a lot because there is, <clears throat> we don't know of another situation where you, a nutrient, for example, even, that you uh, can't get too much. Mm -hmm. you, you can't. Is it, but for omega-3s, we haven't seen it yet. We don't know what the upper limit. I mean, Eskimos ate for you know, millennia, seven, eight, nine grams a day. <clears throat> did fine. Mm -hmm. uh, we aren't even, we're in no danger of getting that close to that. Uh, we're trying to get people up from 150 milligrams a day, which is where typical American, or the average American intake, 150 milligrams. We'd like to get them to 500 or maybe 1,000 milligrams a day. That would be great. And then, now you're talking Japanese levels, Spanish levels. Um, so there's no question of safety in that range. When you get up to five, six, seven grams, I mean, we gave, in our early studies in the 80s, we gave uh, people 25 grams of omega-3 hmm. for a month, okay? Nothing went wrong, uh, you know, so that's, that's not a lifetime experience, of course, it's, mm -hmm. it's a short study, but uh, we don't have any good evidence that there's a, a downside. Uh, people often bring up, what about bleeding? It's just because these, the omega-3s, one of their effects is to inhibit platelet function. Platelets help with the, uh, they're the same cells that get affected by aspirin. When you take aspirin, okay. it's to reduce, to thin your blood. Omega-3s do a little bit of that blood thinning as well. Uh, not as potently as an aspirin does. Uh, so they're, you know, if you're not worried about an aspirin, you shouldn't worry about fish oil mm -hmm. from bleeding. Um, but there is no good evidence that omega-3s increase risk for bleeding. Uh, there have been many studies uh, when people who have been on a high dose of omega-3 have had surgery, have had angioplasty, have had um, uh, a catheterization of their heart, which requires going in through the femoral artery, mm -hmm. a lot of blood. And they've studied how much blood loss happens in people on omega-3, even if they're on omega-3 and aspirin, so a combination of two antiplatelet agents. Mm -hmm. There's no increased risk of bleeding with the omega-3. So that's not a risk that comes up. Uh, one thing that happens in people who take a high dose of omega-3 to treat this high triglyceride level, Typically, their LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, levels go up. Uh, and as the triglycerides go down, the omega-3s, or excuse me, the LDL cholesterol will go up, mm -hmm. which is a, kind of a seesaw. That's just the way it happens. Uh, and typically, uh, that we don't see that as a problem because the people in whom that happens start out with a very low LDL cholesterol level, an abnormally low. And so the omega when you take the omega-3s, lower the triglyceride levels, the LDL level goes up, but it kind of goes up toward normal. It doesn't go up into the dangerous range. So that's, the, and we, again, talking about side effects, bad, adverse effects. Uh, some would say the rise in LDL is a problem. I don't think it's a problem. Uh, so it's not bleeding, not LDL. Uh, and we haven't seen any, any adverse effects. I wish there was. I wish there was a place where you, you had a, you could take too much omega-3 uh, because then people would really want to know the blood level to keep mm -hmm. that level below that level, but we haven't seen it yet.